I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from a test paper on quadratic functions. So this is the application part of it. So we'll now do question number 12, which is right here. So I've copied this question and now let us discuss it in details. The question is, Jim has a difficult golf shot to make. His ball is 100 meters from the hole. He wants the ball to land 5 meters in front of the hole so it can roll to the hole. A 20 meter tree is between his ball and the hole, 40 meters from the hole and 60 meters from Jim's ball. With the base of the tree as origin, write an algebraic expression to model the height of the ball if it just clears the top of the tree. You can pause the video, answer this test question and then look into my suggestions. Let us sketch the scenario first, okay? So let's say this is the greens, right? That's the golf course. And Jim wants to make a shot, which could be something like this, right? So it could be something like this. So it's going to take a parabolic path, kind of like this, where uh, it lands five meters before the hole so that it can roll to the hole. That's the whole idea, right? So this distance where the ball lands to the hole is five meters. So I'm writing five here. Now let's read the question. His ball is 100 meters from the hole. So that means this distance from the hole is 100 meters. So this distance is 100 meters. He wants the ball to land five meters in front of the hole. So that becomes 95. A 20 meter tree is between his ball and hole. 40 meters from the hole and 60 meters from Jim. So closer to the hole. So somewhere here we have a tree. So it says 40 meters from the hole and 60 meters from Jim. So this distance is 60 meters. And this distance here is 40. So 40 is this distance. We know 5 is the distance where the ball should land to the hole. So therefore, from the base of the tree, the distance will be 35 meters place where the ball should land. And we are also given that the height of the tree is 20 meters. So this height is 20 meters here. Correct? So that is kind of the sketch. We need to take y-axis along the tree so that we can find the equation with origin at the base of the tree correct so base of the tree as the origin right so that is the scenario i think now you can pause the video ask the question and then look into my suggestion now if the base of the tree is right there let's call this point as o in that case one of the x-intercepts is 60 to the left so we'll say x minus 60, correct? So, I mean, plus 60. If I put minus 60 here, we get a zero. So that's zero. The other zero is 35 to the right of this origin. So the factor should be x minus 35, correct? Now that is family of curves. If I write a here, it becomes a specific parabola, which defines this projectile motion where the ball just crosses over the tree. And let me call this as height of the function of x, right? The distance from origin. So x is the distance from origin and h is the height with respect to x. Okay. To find the value of a, we can use this point, which is 0, 20, the height of the tree itself, correct? So if I write 0 for x, height is 20. So that is 20 equals to a times 60, 0 plus x times minus 35. And that gives me the value of a, right? So it is 20 divided by 60 times minus 35. Okay? That's the value of a. And if you calculate this, you get 20 goes 3 times, right? So 3 times minus 35. So this is 3 times. You can use the calculator. So you get minus 1 and 3 times 5 is 15, 9 and 1, 10. So A is minus 1 over 105. It makes sense since the parabola is opening downwards, right? So that gives us the equation. So here is our answer in 
factored form. So now we can write formula of this path or the function as hx equals to minus 1 over 105 times x plus 60 times x minus 35, correct? Where x is the distance from the tree in meters, right? So where, where x is distance from tree, right, in meters, in meters, correct? So that is how we can actually get the formula. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.